Welcome back. It's still Morning Rush on Metro Television. And you know that every Friday for the past two months, we've been having a discussion with Medimosis. And today we have Dr. Prince Osei, who is a medical PRO for Medimosis Clinic and Prostate Center. And today we are looking or we are continuing our conversation with male infertility and we are understanding semen analysis. And he's here to help with the conversation. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. You see the team is back home. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, don't want to talk about that. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Let's continue the conversation we ended last week, yeah. and we are understanding mm -hmm. semen uh, analysis. Yeah, we will start by I didn't even know there's a difference. <laughs> Is there a difference between uh -huh. semen and yeah. sperm? Okay. Uh, so mostly, when when people see an ejaculate, like uh, when a male and female have uh, sexual intercourse and the man ejaculates, mm -hmm. what comes out is what we call the semen. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you said, a lot of people don't know that there the, the are different. People refer to that as sperms, but that is not the sperms. Mm -hmm. The sperms are not visible. You cannot see the sperms. They are microcells within the, the semen. Okay. So the semen is mostly produced mm -hmm. by the prostate. The mm -hmm. prostate gland produces the semen, and the testis produces the sperms. So during sexual intercourse, the sperms which are produced by the testes passes through something that we call seminal vesicles. It's, okay. it's a tube from the testes that joins the prostate. So every man, when you examine your testes, when you touch it, you feel that there is a tube that climbs up. So that tube is the seminal vesicle. So the sperms passes there to meet up with the prostate. Then the prostate squeezes that uh, prostatic fluid, that mm -hmm. whitish fluid that you see. It squeezes it up and it messes up with the sperms. Then it passes through your urethra, your, your, your penis. Then it goes into the woman. Okay. So there is a difference. A so difference. Yeah. So there are a lot of men, mostly when they see that a fluid is coming out after a sexual intercourse, they assume that mm -hmm. that is the sperms. Yeah. yeah. But there are a lot of cases that uh, men will come and, 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 and they may be having problem with the sperms and they are not even aware. Okay. So there are two different things. You being able to uh, bring out an ejaculate doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you have sperms you have in sperms. there. Yeah. 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 So apart from um, 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 the definition example, the explanation you've given, what else? Is it, are they the same color? Mm -hmm. Are they, are, are, uh, do they come out, okay, so sperm comes up from your explanation, sperm comes out during the sexual intercourse. Yeah. How often does the semen come? W without even sexual intercourse, can the semen just come? Uh, sometimes we have some men having uh, this whitish discharge. Mm -hmm. A lot of people may term to that as uh, uh, having gonorrhea or something like that. Okay. Sometimes if the semen like the, the, the prostatic fluid, let me put it that way. Semen is when the sperm and the uh, prostatic fluid misses. Okay. So when the prostatic fluid is too much, when, when it's too much in your system, or sometimes when you have problem, uh, problems with your prostate, mm -hmm. you may be having some of these discharges. The, the, the prostate may be squeezing out some of its uh, fluids. Mm -hmm. That is the, the, the prostatic fluid. But the color is the same as the semen because when the sperm misses with the, the prostatic fluid, the sperms are colorless, you cannot okay, really okay. see cannot them. Really see yes, it. so yeah. it's the prostatic fluid that you see. Yeah. So we have men coming to the hospital complaining that oh, when I'm there, I see some semen coming out, even though I'm not having sex. Yeah. It's not necessarily semen. Okay. It could be the prostatic fluid that is squeezing out. So sometimes it can happen uh, uh, in some men. Yeah. Some men. Can men produce uh, semen mm. without sperm? Yes, uh, we have a lot of men having that problem because if you have any problem with the testes, mm -hmm. that's the production house of the sperms, yeah. if you have a problem with it, then it means that the, the semen, the prostatic fluid will be discharged, mm -hmm. but it doesn't contain sperms. In medical term, we refer to that as esospemia. Esospemia means that you are producing the semen, mm -hmm. but when we look at it under the microscope, we don't see any sperm cells in there. Wow. Yes. That's and sad. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's quite of a, a problem because, as I said, some men, when, when they see that the, the, the prostatic fluid is being discharged, they assume that they yes. are okay. That is why in our part of the world, fertility issue mostly is attributed to women. Yeah. Because when a man is able to uh, have sex and have that mm -hmm. discharge coming out, they assume that they are okay. 
But in some cases, you may have some men producing the, 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 the prostatic fluid, mm -hmm. but there is no sperm cells in there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if there is a problem with the testes, mm -hmm. it means that that can happen. Also, if a, there is a problem with the seminal vesicle, that tube from the testes to the prostatic fluid. because So you have a tube from the testes leading to the prostatic fluid. That is where the sperm passes to meet up mm -hmm. with the prostatic fluid. Yeah. So if that tube, if there is a problem with that tube, it means that the sperm may be produced, but it cannot pass it through. Reach. Yes, okay. it cannot pass through to meet up with this prostatic fluid. So you have sex, you ejaculate because the prostate is just around your, your urethra. Mm -hmm. So it means that anytime you're having sex, the ejaculation can come. But as to whether the sperm were able to meet up with the prostatic fluid, that is another That's issue. issue. It's yes. another issue altogether. Yes, that is why when you're a man and you're having pro problem with fertility, you mm -hmm. need to get something that we call semen analysis yes. to check the semen. If uh, the constituents, whatever we want to be in the semen is intact. Because if, if you are producing the semen, it doesn't mean that uh, sperms are in there. Yeah. Yeah, so conditions such as, uh, such as uh, varicose cells are the major causes of that blockade. So there are men having something that we call varicose cell. It means that that tube is blocked or sometimes mm -hmm. it twisted. Yeah. So it means that the sperms are not able to pass through and, and you are not able to have uh, uh, babies because when the sperms are not coming, it means you, you can't, can't have babies. Have a yeah. Baby, yeah. But how is the analysis done? Okay, so uh, I, I've, I've heard some men coming to the hospital saying that they went to some facilities and they hold something and it came on the screen and it, it, that's not they how hold semen. something. Yes, they hold something in there, some diagnostic to that some of the herbal facilities use. Wow. They, they, they hold something and they are... They, they, that's they, something they hold. Is it uh, something, an MRI scan or an X-ray <laughs> scan? <or laughs> that is the question for the gods. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny how uh, some of these diagnostic tools get their way mm -hmm. in the country because you holding something wouldn't be able to test the... the yes, because you have to go in deep the, yes, to test what Yes, so is. for semen analysis, what semen analysis is all about is a sample of your semen is taken. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the hospital, we take a sample of your semen and we analyze it under the microscope. Okay. So when we are analyzing it, we are looking first at the quantity of the semen that you've produced. The amount you've the produced. Amount, but, yes. but before, how do you get it? Like... Yeah, uh, so there are, there are certain ways when you come with your wife. Oh, uh, okay. Most, most hospitals, okay. our place, we have a place that you can meet so that we can get the semen. The semen, that's okay. Some people would want to do it in the home and bring it back. To do the analysis, you need to get a semen within an hour. Oh. It shouldn't be more than an okay, hour. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so we want it fresh, like it should be a fresh semen. Because when it stays for more than an hour, the sperm cells will die. Will die. Yeah, mm. so we need it fresh. So mostly, most facilities have these mm -hmm. places within their, uh, their, their places. And with Moses too, we have a similar thing. So when the semen is collected, uh, we look at the quantity. So some people produce smaller quantities of semen. Mm -hmm. It means that when the semen is produced, it wouldn't be able to swim W w in, in the woman yeah. very well if the quantity is small. small. Yeah, so the quantity is one. Apart from that, we look at the pH. The mm -hmm. pH is the acidity mm -hmm. of the, uh, of the uh, semen. Mm -hmm. And mostly we say that the pH of the semen should be basic. It shouldn't be acidic. It shouldn't be neutral. Okay. The reason being that uh, the female genitalia is quite acidic. Mm -hmm. The pH of the female genitalia is around... 5.6 uh, getting to 6 there so it's quite acidic and the pH of the cement should be above 7.5 okay yes yeah, so somewhere around 7.5 7.6 7 there I was about to okay. ask on a scale of 1 to 100 how, how, like how much should that semen yeah. be so you're saying 75 Above 75 percent, no, 7.5. 7.5, oh, okay. The, the highest pH you can get is 14. Okay, yes, okay. So, so that is, it, but, but but you mentioned amount of semen. We have sperms, I'll Sper come to that. Okay. You, so the pH, I'm rushing to this. So the pH is, is the acidity. Mm -hmm. So, the reason why the, the semen has to be basic is that when it enters the female. Uh, as I mentioned earlier that the female genitalia is acidic. acidic so yeah. when acid and base meet, it forms a neutral ground for okay. the sperm to be able to swim. So the sperm shouldn't be affected by the acidity mm -hmm. or the basicity of 
the, okay. the environment. It should have a neutral ground to swim. So when, 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 when a man ejaculates in the woman, that acid-based reaction takes place and the semen are released so that it can swim, uh, f uh, freely swim okay. in the female. And uh, we look at something that we call the count. That is where you were, you, 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 oh. you, you were got into the sperm count. Okay. That's the quantity of the sperms per ejaculate. Okay. So when you ejaculate now, the quantity of the sperm cells within it, mostly it should be more than 20 million sperm cells per ejaculate. 20 million? 20 million sperm cells per ejaculate. So when you have sex now, the ejaculate that comes out should be more than 20 million sperm cells. And uh, God being so good, the body is such that when the man doesn't have any medical problem, mm -hmm. when you ejaculate now, producing the 20 million, within one hour time, yeah. you should be able to produce another 20 million sperm cells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all things being equal, uh, when, when you have an ejaculate now, within 20, uh, one hour, you mm -hmm. should be able to produce another sperm cell. The body, is, the testes really? is that active. Wow. Yes. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is how come men, men, men can be very fertile. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't have any medical, medical problem, problem. Yeah. You, uh, you, you should be able to produce that enough uh, number of sperm cells per ejaculate. Yeah. Apart from that, we are looking at the motility of the sperm cells. Mm -hmm. The motility uh, talks about how the sperms are able to move okay. within the female. So the sperm basically has a hair, a head, and a tail. Mm -hmm. So the tail is what propels the Push sperm it, cells. Yeah. Yes. So the head is what uh, fuses with the egg to cause fertility. So there are some people that the sperm cells are there, but they are not able to move as it should. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we are checking, there are men that come to our facility. You check, and their sperm cells are okay. The quantity are okay but the motility is less than 50%. Mm -hmm. If the motility of the sperm cells is le less than 50%, it means that the sperms that you are producing, though you are producing enough, but they are not able to swim. Swim to the egg? Yes, to the wow. egg. So it means that in effect you are not... Cause 90 job. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> then big shout out to us. We that were able to swim you see fast it. to that egg. So uh, as, people, as some people say that struggle starts from that... <laughs> because you are like 20 million yes. and you are all um, swimming. In a race. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but I, I want to come back and mm -hmm. ask you something. When you talk about the, the, the female genital yeah. having the acidic base mm -hmm. and the man, the man it's, it's supposed to be a minus and a plus, so that you have a neutral ground. Yeah. Can the man's lifestyle, attitude, mm -hmm. uh, sort of interfere with yeah. what he's supposed to have? Definitely, definitely. Oh. You know, with semen, when it comes to semen production, it mm -hmm. has to do with what you eat, yeah. your lifestyle, mm -hmm. what you take in. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we advise that men who smoke too much, sometimes it can cause your, your system to be yeah. acidic. Yeah. Yeah. So when the system is acidic, it means that the uh, prostatic fluid you are producing would be also acidic. True. And the sperm cells will be dead even by the time they come, they out. come so out. You produce the sperm cells, but by the time they come mm -hmm. out, majority of them will be dead yeah, yeah so we, we are looking at those ones to the dead ones and those th that are alive so all those ones comes into play to 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 form the semen analysis so when you are looking at the cement what you have produced it always have to have all these things being consi consistent yeah. Yeah. for you to be able to impregnate a woman mm -hmm. so you just being able to ejaculate doesn't mean that medically you are okay yeah okay so you need to have that uh, mm. semen analysis done. Yeah. So <laughs> with all this, I know metamorphosis, there's aphromosis that helps, but yeah. then what does the facility do, uh, does to help? What does the, the, the capsules yeah. also does to help? So uh, when, when you are having challenge conceiving, it, it could be any of these things that mm -hmm. I mentioned. You can come to metamorphosis, uh, prostate center, we are at Adenta uh, barrier mm -hmm. uh, in Accra, and also Accra Central, we are in the AESL building, at Tema, we are in the uh, we are at Ashaman, uh, Ajay Kojo, behind the school for the deaf. Kumase, we are at Ahenema Kokobi. Uh, you can go to any of our branches to get uh, a semen analysis done. Mm -hmm. And also we have aphromosis and mediplas. The aphromosis uh, produces, it helps with the sperm production. Mm -hmm. So it helps the testes to produce the sperm. As I mentioned, if your man is okay, once he ejaculates within one hour, he should be able to produce another sperm. Another. So if things are not going on well in your system, you need some of these medications to help boost the production of the sperm. So 
Aphromosis will help to boost the production of the sperm. So if you are not close to any of our branches, you can get Aphromosis from any pharmacy branch, uh, any pharmacy around you. You go there, you ask for Medimosis, Aphromosis, and it can help with the sperm production. Or you can walk to any of our facilities yeah. to get a semen analysis done. And to uh, wrap it up, uh, you know, Medimosis have been having a lot of screenings this year, and mm -hmm. we are uh, wrapping it up this coming uh, Saturdays, tomorrow's week, that's 17th. 17th. Oh, yes, next tomorrow's week, okay. Week, yeah, okay. 17th uh, December. Mm -hmm. All of our, our, our branches, we are having this free screening. Okay. We are checking the prostate for men and women. We are checking for fibroids. We are okay. checking for okay. breast cancer. All the screenings that we've done throughout yeah. the year, we are wrapping it up uh, on, 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 on 17th of December yeah. at all our branches. Doc, yeah. thank you very, very thank much for so coming. Much I know I'll see you <laughs> next week uh, yes. again. Thank you very, very much. We're talking to Dr. Prince Ose from the uh, Medimosis. He's a medical PR for Medimosis. And today he was telling us about semen analysis. Uh,